it is Thursday, the 23rd of Feb. We are at another new gig. This is uh, too much. Too many new gigs. Uh, we're at Chuckle Deli. Can't remember how I got this, but I've got it. That is in uh, the Lucas Arms and Grayson Road. Um, am I doing too many vlogs? Because obviously, you know, I gig a relative amount. I think, you know, less than some, definitely more than others. So let me know if I'm doing too many of these, because they're all pretty much the same, to be honest, isn't it? Um, but we'll figure it out anyway. I'll be honest, it's been a bit of a long week. It's been a long couple of weeks, and I'm feeling a little bit gassed. Um, so I don't even... <laughs> I don't want to mail it in. I am not mailing it in. I will still try and perform my best, but I'm just not feeling quite energised to try anything too audacious, or even try and prepare and sit down and write, because a lot of the time now I try to get into the habit of writing. But I'm really just not in the headspace to do it. Today was a very busy work day. It's all boring stuff you could care less about. But the important thing is that you understand what's going through my head. And um, I don't know why that's important, but for some reason I've just decided that is. So I think we're just gonna we're just gonna be a bit loosey goosey today. You know, yesterday we did a bit of crowd work. We might try a little bit more crowd work. We'll see how it goes. I'm really not sure what to expect here. I don't even know how much time I'm doing. I mean, I sent him a message. Am I doing five? Am I doing ten? I mean, it's nice to know that I can kind of throw out whatever's needed um, to a degree. Again, don't want to dismiss it. All shows are important. Um, all gigs matter. Is that controversial? Um, but we'll try and enjoy this one. And we shall get ourselves to the fucking weekend. Because I'm sick and tired of gigging, if I'm being honest. Let's see how it goes. So my mum just likes watching me on stage, you know. So I just had to record that. Hello. Yes, hello. It's a, it is a, hello mum, you right? Get to bed early. Uh, yeah, I am your token act for the evening. Whee! I think that's why those two left fucking outrage. <laughs> Can't believe what happened. Don't let them do it. Do you know what I mean? No, I've, I've got to say, right, though, like, give up for the start of the show tonight. Was it Boise, the dog? Yeah. yeah. Real dog people in here. I've got to say, uh, I do, um, I performed today with a bit of a heavy heart. You know, I recently had to put my dog down. Oh. Yeah, man, yeah. She was, uh, it was because she was a paranoid schizophrenic. <laughs> I know, I, I, didn't know, I didn't know that was a thing too, you know. I said that to the vet. I was like, That's, I've never heard that before in my life. And he was like, yeah. It's true, you know, they're saying it's true. It'd just be crazy. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's too easy. It's too easy. Can you see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all right. It only gets worse from me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yes. Uh, one thing about me, I've, uh, I've got a gay twin brother. <laughs> yes, they do allow gays these days, sir. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm black, but right, you know. Isn't it? My Lord and Saviour was outraged. No, uh, yeah, um, yeah, no, but uh, people say he looks exactly like me, which is uh, really hard for me to come to terms with because I think he's fucking ugly. Oh. It's shocking, isn't it? You know, my girlfriend says, Oh, God, he looks so much like you, I could never imagine having sex with him. <laughs> I was like, Well, it didn't stop you from begging me, did it? <laughs> come on, come on, it's only jokes. Oh, jokes. Does, um... <laughs> Look, a word of advice, right, to all my straight people out there, okay? If your gay twin brother says that he's a, uh, he's a wingman, don't listen to it. It's merely a distraction, all right? You'll be the one standing there on the dance floor holding three drinks of two handbags, watching him grind up on that girl you like. <laughs> Come on, man. It's hard out there, man. I'm the one that's supposed to be getting the girls. Because people gotta say that, right? Isn't it? Like when you're when you're when you're a twin, people just say stupid shit to you like, um, oh gosh, do you guys like switch girlfriends or something? You know, it's like what do you think this is? Pornhub. I mean <laughs> Fuck me, boy. This is real life, not Jeremy Carl. Yeah. You know, my, my brother came out to me like I was really, really happy, right? But you know, we kind of already knew it was a thing, innit? Because you know, the signs were always there, you know, we used to play when we were kids and stuff and uh, we used to do a bit of role play, right? You know, people do like doctors and nurses. <laughs> Guess who he always wanted to be? <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. does, I, does anyone know what the census is? Yes. You know the census? Yeah, alright, for those that don't know, right, the census is this survey that the government put out every 10 years on behalf of the Illuminati, alright? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> I know some people don't believe me. A few round earthers here. Come on. <laughs> <Good point. laughs> you know what? Uh, you know that if you don't do the census, you can actually get in trouble with the police. Yeah, yeah man. Which you know, come from the streets. I'm giving fuck about that. You get me? Papa. <laughs> cha cha cha. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, people that do surveys, so I don't really get them, right? They're the type of people that do... <laughs> yes. I don't know, you as high as me, boy. Yeah, I know, isn't it? I've got material about the census. It's so stupid. It's so dumb, and you're here for it. Come on, now. Come on, stay with me now. Stay with me. All right? I mean, like, maybe you're one of them, though. Maybe, you know, I don't understand people that do surveys, right? People that do surveys are the type of people that do online Google reviews on things like cheese. You know? In it, yeah. You do like TripAdvisor on cemeteries. <laughs> you know, but that's not why I don't like the census, right? I don't like the census because of the options other or prefer not to say. Right? I'm a black guy from North London. I prefer to say. <laughs> you know, like sometimes there's just no options for you, right? You know, take the ethnicity one, okay? I'm half Kenyan, quarter Irish, quarter Bangladeshi. So you know what that means, right? I'm 100% smelly. Come on, don't say that. Really. Put a racist letter. Eh? Yeah. Right? Right? Um, but for me, uh, you know, the, the census is almost like, it's almost like uh, the most fucked up version of like ethnicity deal or no deal. You know? The fucking bankers on the phone to me offering mix up and I'm thinking about taking it because we got white and Asian still on the board. <laughs> I can't do it, right? Um, we've got any football fans here? Hey. Yeah, yeah? Nice, you might have heard about this, right? Um, the Premier League recently released this list of the most influential black people in football, right? So, you know, you got Saka, Rashford, you know, all the guys that missed. And, um... Oh. <laughs> too soon? <laughs> <laughs> Guess what they called it? The blacklist. Oh, no, no. They did, they did. They did. No. And I wrote down the definition, right? So we all know what a blacklist actually means, <laughs> right? A blacklist is a list of people or things <laughs> that are regarded as unacceptable or untrustworthy and should be excluded or avoided. I mean, come on, man. What do these guys get if they make the list? The first class trip back to where they came from. <laughs> man, the words mean anything anymore, man. Like, for me, right, the term I never understood is the term person of colour. I know, how'd that get through, isn't it? Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. You know, for me, like, uh, I'm a black guy, as you can tell from the smell, right? So, ooh, no. Sorry, I was going to say because of the diabetes, but, you know. We're just trying stuff up here. Come on, man. Yeah. You know, I said this to someone at work, and they said, actually, calling yourself black is a self-identifying preference. And if I'm being honest, I had no clue what they then were talking about, because um, yeah. the thing for me is, uh, all my life, I thought I was born black. I didn't realise it was a preference. Do you know what I mean? Like, what else could explain this fried chicken addiction? It's a disease! Come on, man, I've lost far too much because of my fried chicken addiction. Mainly because of the grease, you know, it just slips right out of your hands. Come on. You're not liking it? Come on now. As if you're almost there, we'll get you there. Uh, that's, well, we'll we, we get you there if I'd remember what I was about to talk about. That's cool. But, uh, no, well, person of colour, right? The term person of colour is, um, it means someone that isn't white. Now, for me, any term that categorises me and Lucy Lou in the same group, it's got to be a mistake, right? Yes. You know, the only thing we got in common is that we like hanging out with white women. Uh, I don't know, I feel, I feel like that Charlie's Angel joke, I'll say it one more time, it's not very good, I know. I know, you've got to try it. No, but she's like a five foot two Asian woman and could probably fit in most people's pockets. You know, I'm almost 18 stone, black guy. I could barely fit in most smart cars. <laughs> now, come on. For me, growing up, the term coloured was like the Disney version of the M word. No. It was, you know, you see this movie like that's set in the 1950s when segregation was still cool. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you got this kid who gets sent to the shop by his mum who, looks, let's face it, a bit overweight. You know, he's always cooking every hour of the day, every scene, some pie that she's making, I don't know. And he goes to the shop and he's like, oh, excuse me, sir, can I get some milk? And you've got this guy who just takes his minimum wage job far too seriously. He's looking at him being like, he's got about four teeth in his mouth. We don't like your kind. 
colored boy. And he goes home and he cries to his mum. His mum's like, that's okay, baby. People are always going to judge you for your skin color. But that's all right. Because it's what's inside that counts. Now go on outside and play with your little friends. You know, and the movie goes on and then, you know, he grows up to be the president. Happy ending. Hey. Unfortunately, that color was orange and it was Trump. Oh. There we go. You know, stars we finish like shit. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. Happy birthday. Yeah. I've been Chris Sally. Take it easy. Happy birthday. Do you know what, right? That was such a weird one. I have no idea. I think I did well. That crowd is very small, but kind of brutal in a way, but they will let you know if they are unhappy. I had this girl right in front of me just kind of mean mugging me. I was like, you are not enjoying this at all. As soon as I come off stage, I had this one woman go, you know that Trump joke? It wasn't funny, but funny. And um, yeah, some of, the, like, some of the tags that like hit usually or have been hitting so far weren't working. They enjoyed some other stuff. So it's got a bit of a family feel. That, or, like, there's a level of familiarity that the audience seem to have and it's quite a fun and bizarre night. But I think I'm enjoying it. And uh, obviously very, very festive. Um, Non-bringer, I'll definitely come back. Um, this is only the half time, so I'm gonna go watch second half and yeah, enjoy the rest of the show. On to that next one.